okay in this video we're going to take a look at the four different camera modes. Uh, cameras are used, they're specific to the visitors that come to our coast base. So for example, um, you know, you when your visitor comes in to see the creation that you've put together, you can decide, do you want them to be able to walk around the space? Do you want them to be able to fly around the space? Uh, do you want to give them a fixed position where they can they can look around but they can't really move? Um, or do you want them to circle around your your creation? So we're going to show you each of those. And then I'm going to end with actually having the camera follow uh, this eagle around. So if you wanted to put your camera on a path, you could do that as well. All right. So every Coast Base starts with a one camera. And if you double click or right click on it, you get its details page. I can come over here to the camera detail and the default position is walk. And so what walk allows us to do is uh, when the person, the visitor comes to our coast base, they hit play, they are, have a first view. In this case, we're going to be viewing these four characters here in the dog. And then they have the option to walk around and they use the W, A, S, and D keys to walk around. We'll show that in a second. And then you also have a couple of other uh, options here that I think are important. One is how fast do they walk around? We're going to leave this set at three. And then do they collide with objects or not? And we're going to also leave this set to on so that they're not walking through, for example, the Acropolis. They're actually walking on the Acropolis. Okay, here we go. Let's test this out. So I hit play. I can use my mouse or my trackpad to change the direction that I'm pointing. And then if I just hold the W key down, I start to walk around. All right, I can look up in the sky, look on the ground, whatever. I can use the S key to move backwards, the A key to move to my left, and the D key to move to my right. And now because I have collision turned on, when I click on, or when I get to this um, spot here, I can't get on there unless I hit the space bar while I'm moving. Then if I hit the space bar, I could actually climb up or jump. That's what that's for. I can jump onto the area and work my way through the Acropolis. Okay, so that's walk. This, the next setting that's available in camera is a fly. So fly is similar to walk, the same kind of uh, properties, the speed you can select as well as whether you actually collide into objects or not. And with fly, the difference is, as I'm walking, I can point my mouse or my trackpad upward and actually take off. I go into flight. Now, keep in mind that I can't go out there into the environment outside. If I keep going, it just it's, it's one point, it's just going to stop. See? So I have to stay within my grid space. But once I'm inside it, pointing up or down actually changes my elevation up or down. So very similar to walk, just has the ability to get up in the air. All right, number three is going to be um, fixed position. So fixed position is what we used in the last video about seeing the bird in flight. If I were in fixed position, I can, for example, raise myself up. I can take maybe a, a angle that's more looking downward a little bit. Let's see if I can adjust that like that, and then I hit play. And so what fixed position allows me to do, I can still use my mouse or my trackpad to change the, the direction I'm viewing, but the W, A, S, and D keys don't, don't do anything. So I'm, I'm stuck where I'm at, but I can see, depending on where the position of the camera is, I can see all the things that I need to. All right. And then the last one is uh, orbital. And I'll leave, it, I'll leave it positioned here because I think this is a good, also a good choice for orbital. So I click up here, I click on orbit. And what you'll notice is when you click on orbit, the camera itself has now this circular motion here, right? So if I click play, now when I use my mouse or my trackpad, it's not rotating uh, the camera view, it's actually rotating the camera itself around the scene. Okay, I could still look up and down like that, um, but for the most part, I am I'm stuck along this this circular path. All right, so those are the four views 
uh, based on how you want to manage your camera. If you want the camera to actually move around a path, you can do that as well. So if I, if I double click or right click on the camera, I can attach. In this case, let me attach it to uh, the actual path of the eagle. I'm going to do that. Don't forget to go to the camera details page and turn on code blocks for that camera. And if I come over to code, right, so that's when play is clicked, forever take the eagle along the round path. Well, if I want to make that um, include a camera as well, I'm going to come to controls and I'm going to find the control block for run parallel. And what that means is run two things at the same time. So I'm going to come over to my Forever Eagle movement. I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to change it from Eagle to Camera. So now they're both going to move along the camera path, or along the round path, and they're going to be run at the same speed. I'm going to throw one of them into the first parallel and put the other one, including its Forever statement, into the second parallel. So these two things will run at the same time. Let's see what that's like. So there we go. Now the person can still like choose how they want to view their the the direction, but they cannot move anywhere except along this path and at this speed. So again, if you're wanting to give someone a tour, but you don't want them necessarily to um, control where they're moving, you can set them along a path that you designate. Okay, and that's it for camera modes.